Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spiritualite, and we're here with another Bible study sort of um, lesson. Um, we're going to read the secret book of John, and um, it is in, I have the other Bible, and um, I think it's also in the Apocrypha. So um, I was reading it, and I realized that <clears throat> is information that just needed to be encoded into the ley line. So um, we're going to put it out there. And also this helped me to understand a lot more about some of the stuff that Brother um, Adir Bay says in his videos. It's uh, it, it definitely makes it clear. So again, this is in the other Bible. And we're just going to read... Um, we might read the first part and the second part separately, depending on how... Um, I don't want this video to be too long. So um, I'm going to read from the book, but on the screen, you'll have the same thing that I'm reading from because I took the pages from the book. So it happened one day when John, the brother of James, these are the sons of Zebedee, went up to the temple. There, there a Pharisee named Arimanus approached him and said to him, where is your master whom you followed? He said to him, he has returned to the place from which he came. The Pharisee said to him, this Nazarene deceived you with deception and hardened your hearts and estranged you from the tradition of your fathers. When I, John, heard this, I went away from the temple to the mountain, to a desert place, and with and with great grief, my heart, in my heart I said, how then was the Savior appointed, and why was he sent into the world by his father who sent him, and who is his father, and what is the nature of that eon to which we shall go he told us this eon received the type of that imperishable eon but he did not reveal to us what its nature is as i thought these thoughts the heavens were opened and the whole creation shone with a light not of earth and a un and the universe was shaken i was afraid and fell down and behold a child appeared to me but when I saw the form of an old man in whom was light, when I looked upon him, I did not comprehend this wonder. If it is a unity with many forms because of the light, then its forms appear. If it is a unity, how would it, ha how would it have three aspects? He said to me, John, why do you doubt? For it is not foreign to you. Do not be of little faith. I am the one who is with you always. I am the father. I am the mother. I am the son. I am the eternally existent, the unmixable, for there is no one who mix himself with him. Now I have come to reveal to you that which is, that which has been, and that which will be, so that you may know the things which are seen and the things not seen to reveal to you about the perfect man. Now lift up your face and come here and learn what I shall tell you today so that you yourself may reveal it to spirits of the same sort who are of the unwavering race of the perfect man and are able to understand. He said to me, the spirit is a unity over which no one rules. It is the God of truth, the father of the all, the Holy Spirit, the invisible one, the one who is over the all, the one who exists in his imperishability, the one who exists in pure light into which no sight can look. One must not consider the spirit as God or as a specific quality, for it is more excellent than the gods. It is beginning that none proceeds, for no one existed before it, and it has no need of them. It does not need life, for it is eternal. It needs nothing, for it is not perfectible, since it has no deficiency with which since it has no deficiency deficiency which might be perfected, but is beyond all perfection. It is light. It is illimitable because no one is before it to give it limits undifferentiated because no one is before it to differentiate it immeasurable because no one has measured it as though as though existing before invisible because no one has seen it it is eternal which always exists the indescribable because no one has apprehended it so as to describe it the one 
whose name no one can tell because no one existed before it to name it. It is the immeasurable light, the holy and pure purity, the indescribable, perfect and imperishable. It is not perfection or beauty or deity, but something far more excellent. It is not boundless nor are limits set to it. It is something more excellent. It is neither corporeal nor incorporeal, not great, not small, not a quantity, not a creature. No one can think it. It is not anything existent, but something prior, not as if in itself were prior, but because it is its own. It has no part in an eon. Time does not belong to it, for one which participates in an eon has f been formed by others. Time is not allotted to it, since it receives nothing from any other which it allots. It makes use of nothing. In short, there is nothing before it. It seeks only itself in the perfection of light and comprehends the pure light. It, the immeasurable greatness, the eternal, the giver of eternity, the light, the giver of light, the life, the giver of life, the blessed one, the giver of blessedness, the knowledge, the giver of knowledge, the eternal good, the giver of good, the benefactor, that which is not of such a kind because it is such, but it gives qualities, the merciful mercy, the grace giving grace the immeasurable light what shall i say to you of it the incomprehensible the vision of the light corresponding to what i shall be able to comprehend for who will ever comprehend it as i can discuss it with you its eon is imperishable existing in rest and reposing in silence. It existed before the all. It is the head of all eons. If another were with it, for no one among us has recognized that which belongs to the immeasurable one, except the one who dwelt in it. He told this to us. He who alone understands himself in his own light, which surrounds him, he who is the fount of water of life, the light of full full of purity the fount of the spirit flowed out of the living water of light and it supplied all eons in all worlds in every way it understood its own image when it saw it in the pure water of light which surrounds it and its thought became operative and revealed herself she stood before it out of the splendor of the light which is the power which is all which is before the all the power which has revealed itself is the perfect forethought of the universe, the light, the copy of light, the image of the invisible. She is the perfect power, the barbelo, the perfect aeon of glory. She praises it because she appeared through it and understands it. She is the first thought, its image. She became first man, i.e. the virginal spirit, the thrice male one which has three powers three names three acts of generation the eon which does not age the male female which came out of its forethought and barbie Lowe asked it to give her first knowledge it consented and when it had consented first knowledge revealed herself and placed herself with thought i.e. forethought while they praise the invisible one and the perfected power barbilo because they originated through her and again first knowledge asked this power to give her imperishability and when it had consented imperishability revealed herself and placed herself with thought and first knowledge while they praised the invisible one and barbilo because it was through her that they had originated she asked the eternal life she asked that eternal life might be given her. It consented, and when it had consented, eternal life revealed herself, and they stood there while they praised it and Barbilo, because it was through her they had originated in the revelation permitted by the invisible spirit. This is the five of the eons of the father, the first man, the image of the invisible one, i.e. Barbilo, and thought and thought and first knowledge and imperishability and eternal life. This is the male female five, the tenth of the eons, the father of the ungenerated father. Barbilo looked intensely into the pure light and she turned to it and gave birth to a blessed spark of light, but he was not equal to her in greatness. 
this was this is Mojanes who revealed himself to the father the divine self born the first son born son of all from the spirit of the pure life light and the invisible spirit rejoiced at the light which came into existence which appeared through the first power forethought barbilo it anointed him with its goodness so that he became perfect faultless and christ anointed because it had anointed him with the goodness of the invisible spirit he appeared before it and received anointing through the virginal spirit and he stood before it while he praised the invisible spirit and the perfected forethought this spirit in which he had dwelt and he asked it to give him one thing only mind the invisible spirit consented mind revealed itself and stood with christ while they praised it and barbilo all these however came into existence in silence and a thought the invisible spirit willed to make something its will became corporeal the will revealed itself and stood with mind and the light while it praised it logos followed will for through the logos christ created all things the divine self-born eternal life a will and mind and first knowledge placed themselves while they praised the invisible spirit and barbilo for it was through her they be they came into an existence and through the spirit of the eternal self-born son of barbilo because he came into the eternal in he came to the eternal virginal and invisible spirit the self-born god christ whom the spirit honored with great honor because he came into existence f from its first thought the invisible spirit appointed him as god over all the true god gave him all power and subjected him to and subjected to him the truth which was in it so that he might comprehend the all his name will be told to those who are worthy of him but out of the light which is christ and out of imperishability through the working of the invisible spirit the four great lights revealed themselves from the divine self-born in order to place themselves by him and by the three will and thought and life now these four are grace comprehension perception and prudence grace is at Grace is at the first light, Harmo, Harmozel, which is the angel of light in the first eon. And there are three eons with it, grace, truth, and form. At the second light, Orael, which he has appointed over the second eon, there are three eons, forethought, perception, and memory. At the third light, Doduthi, which, hmm, which he has appointed over the third eon there are three eons comprehension love and idea and at the fourth light lf which he has appointed over the fourth eon there are three eons perfection peace and sophia these are the four lights which stand by the self-generator of the gods the 12 eons which stand by the child by the great self-generator christ through the good pleasure of god the invisible spirit the 12 eons belong to the sun the self-generated all things are made fast according to the will of the holy spirit through the self-born out of first knowledge and perfect mind through god through the good pleasure of the invisible spirit and through the good pleasure of the self-born came forth the perfect true man the first appearance he called him adam and appointed him over the first eon with the great god the self-generator christ in the first eon of harmazel and his powers are with him and the invisible spirit gave him an invincible intelligible power the man said i glorify and praise the invisible spirit for because of thee all things came into existence and all things aspire to thee but i praise thee and the self-born with the eons the three the father the mother and the son the perfect power and he appointed his son seth over the second light orel and in the third eon was placed in the seed of seth the souls of the saints who are eternally in the light Daoth, 
In the fourth eon were placed the souls who recognized their perfection and did not immediately repent, but persisted. Finally, they repented. They will remain at the fourth light, Eleth, which joined them with spirit, which joined them with itself while they praised the invisible spirit. Our sister Sophia, being an eon, conceived a thought from herself. Thinking of the spirit and, and of first knowledge, she willed to let a copy appear out of herself. The spirit did not agree with her or consent with her, nor did her consort, the male virginal spirit, approve. She found no more her supporter when she consented without the good pleasure of the spirit but and the knowledge of her own supporter. Because of the desire, Prunikos, that was in her, she, she emanated outward. Her thought could not remain unproductive, and her work came forth, imperfect and ugly in appearance, because she had made it without her consent consort. It did not resemble its mother appearance, but was of another form. When she considered it, she saw that it was a copy of another appearance since it had the appearance of a snake and a lion its eyes were shining with fire she pushed it away from herself outside of those places so that none of the immortals might see it because she had brought it to birth with in ignorance she could she joined a cloud of light with it and set a throne in the middle of the cloud so that no one might see it except the holy spirit which is called life the mother of all and she named it Yaldabaoth. This is the first archon. From his mother he drew great power, and he withdrew from her and turned away from the place where he was born. He took possession of another place he created for himself an eon, flaming with shining fire, where he still is. And he joined himself with unreason, which was with him and called the powers into existence, the twelve, twelve angels under him, each and in his eon according to the model of the imperishable eons and for each of them he created seven angels and the angels with three powers so that all those under him are 360 angelic powers including their three powers which cor correspond to the appearance of the first model which was before him when the powers have revealed themselves from the arc generator the first archon of darkness from this ignorance of one who begot them they had following names the first is Iov, the second is hermas eye of fire the third galia the fourth iobel the fifth Adon adonios the sixth saboth the seventh canaan and k who is called cain which is the son the eighth abrasine which is the ninth iobel the tenth harmufiel the eleventh adonin the twelfth Beles. they will they all have still other names because of lust and wrath they have still other double names which are given them these were given them because of the glory of heaven but these names correspond to truth which reveals their nature and sacklets called them by these names in a vision in relation to their power through periods of time they withdraw and grow weak through periods of time they attain strength and grow powerful and he ordained that seven kings will rule over the heavens and five over the chaos of hades the names of glory of those who rule over the seven heavens are these the first is ioth with the face of a lion the second is elios with the face of an ass the third is s Tafios with the face of a hyena, the fourth Io with the face of a seven headed snake, the fifth is Adonaios with the face of a dragon, the sixth Adonai with the face of an ape, the seventh Sabataios with the face of shining flames of fire. This is the seven of the weak. These are the ones who govern the world. But Yaldabaoth Saklas, who possesses many forms in order to reveal himself with diverse forms as he pleases a portion to them some of his own fire and power he did not give them any of the pure light which he had drawn from his mother hence he governed them because of the glory with which was in him for the power of the light of the mother hence he let himself be called god because he rebelled against the substance out of which he came into his existence and he joined seven powers 
with the authorities because he spoke they came into existence he gave them names and appointed authorities he began from above the first is forethought with first iof the second is de the second is the deity with the second elios the third is goodness with the third astephos the fourth is fire with the fourth io the fifth is the kingdom with the fifth sabio the sixth is comprehension and the sixth adonios the seventh is sophia with the seventh sabbatios these have a firmament like heaven and an eon according to the eon appearance from the beginning existed after the model of the imperishable ones he saw the creation beneath him and the multitude of angels beneath him who came into existence out of him and said i am a jealous god there is no other god beside me already indicating to the angels beneath him that another god does exist for if there were no other of whom would he be jealous the mother then began to be borne about because she recognized her deficiency because her consort had not agreed with her she had diminished in her perfection i said christ what does born about mean he smiled and said do you think it is as moses said above the waters not at all she saw the wickedness and the apostrophe which clung to her son she repented and while she went to and fro in darkness of ignorance she began to be ashamed and did not venture to return above but went to and fro this going to and fro is to be borne about after the self-satisfied one had received the a power from the mother he did not know many things which were said over his mother he thought that his mother alone existed he saw the countless army of angels which he had made and he felt himself exalted above them but when the mother knew the abortion of darkness was imperfect since her consort had not agreed with her she repented and grieved exceedingly he heard the prayer of her repentance and the brother's petition on her behalf the holy invisible spirit gave permission and after the holy invisible spirit had given permission it poured over her a spirit from the perfection her consort came down to her in order to correct her deficiency he decided in his forethought to correct her deficiency she was not led back to her own eon but because of her abundant ignorance which had appeared in her she is the nine she is in the nine until she corrects her deficiency all praises to the most high okay so i'm going to do another video for the second chapter of this book but it's a i mean of this um this secret book but there's a few things i want to point out um and now that i've read it again it's, it's basically exactly what um basically what i was um some of the things that i had uh considered so in the first page or so it talks about who is the most high and um it's funny that it can it it really uses the term it because it doesn't have a name we don't have a name for it we don't know that name of of that most high god if it even has a name you know and so referring to him as the most high is i think the only uh not the only appropriate way but it is very appropriate being that it has a name we don't know its name and we can't even comprehend the name if if we were even given to it and i also think how they call the um the the holy trino sophia the mother Barbie Lowe. Now I understand why he used that um, term all the time. I get where that comes from now. And um, something else I want to point out is that the name Dauth, that's actually my grandmother and my uh my grandmother and her sister both have a name that's very similar to that. So that jumped out um, once I said it because when I read it, it didn't um it didn't it didn't mean anything but once i said it out loud i was like oh that's sounds like my grandmother's name and my um great aunt's name so that's very interesting in there where those names came from um and it was one more thing um okay so then this whole concept of you know the consent i think that's really important because you do have to ask for permission and authorization and oh the hierarchy 
you can clearly see that there's a hierarchy. This this outlines a very specific hierarchy and how things are done. So people who, I mean, this is where you go back to the Hebrew Christians who think that they're just going to go to the Most High God. They're going to go to it and just tell it what to do. That makes absolutely no sense. You have to go through the hierarchy. And so I'm glad that we over here have spent a great deal of time thinking about the hierarchy, looking at the hierarchy so that we know indeed how to communicate with various spirits. I also think it's interesting that the God of the creator of this earth, Yadaboth, is not um is is the God of the Old Testament. I think that's really interesting because that makes a lot more things make sense um about the old testament and also about the um the the hebrews and and their particular religion and how and also like in exodus in moshe's law how it talks about i'm going to send an angel before you then you understand where that um particular thought comes from and one thing i i I mean, if um, Sophia thought that her creation was so um, ugly and monstrous, I mean, how uh, how different is that God than it, the uh, and Barbilo? You know what I mean, the Holy Mother. Um, I don't know. It's going to be um, that's just something to ponder, you know, because this God that created this world. Um, and created us uh well not really we once we get into the birth of adam and eve we're going to see it's not quite the same um but he created the world but he didn't create us those are that's a different um that's a differentiating point and so i want to point that out we're going to get to that so again this um you know the most high created the the most high well the Most High gave authorization for the Christ, well, for Barbilo, the mother, to create, to the who's seen the spark and the the Christ who basically created himself. So it's still all about getting authorization and access. Those things are very important, and also understanding the hierarchy. So you know that when you pray, who are you praying to? And I think that's something that we, especially in these last days, need to be very um, conscious of who we're praying to, who we're engaging with, so that we are able to um, keep the will of the Most High, keep the will of the Father, do the will of the Mother, and be a reflection of that spark of the Christ, um, which what did what did Yahweh I say greater things we would do? And you see the great thing that he did, he created himself. So we'll be able to do greater things than that. So that's just something to keep in mind. So on part two, we're going to read this, um, the birth of Adam and Eve, which is another two and a half pages. Um, well, four pages, really. Um, so, uh, you know, to the spirits who are here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace. And always remember, the Most High is your peace. Shalom.